Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. Today we're checking out the latest version of Isotope's RX audio editing software. Let's get started. Today we're checking out RX10, the latest version of RX from Isotope. Now RX is the industry leading audio editor as far as recovery, restoration, cleaning up noise, background noise, preparing audio. It's a super powerful platform for working with your audio tracks. And now with RX10, we have some amazing new features included. Let's take a look at those new features. I want to start with a feature that just blew me away when I was checking it out, and that's the word lane. If we pop over here to a file, there's a new track up here at the top, and you can see there's text in there. RX10 can actually go in and transcribe a spoken word passage, put the words at the top, and now you can actually work with those. You can click on the individual words, you can edit them individually, you could cut, copy, paste, insert them, so you could change the order of words, you can really do all kinds of dialogue editing in here. But in addition to that, you can choose just a single word and apply processing to just that word. Now it goes beyond that because we can also open up text navigation. And in this little sidebar, first of all, we have speakers here. RX can actually transcribe up to eight different speakers simultaneously and individually identify them by color. So you could process one person out of eight that are speaking in, say, a roundtable discussion. It's just amazing that it can do this. But something that's even more cool is their logic here that allows us to search and find individual words. So if I type with, it'll show me there are two instances where with actually occurred within my passage here. With us today, who's done a lot of practice with us. With us. Now we could, for example, if we like, say, this version of With Better, we could copy that and we could paste it here on top of this one. Or we could insert it someplace else. We can also go in and we can edit the words up here if we want to, for example, if we prefer the U.S. spelling for practicing better, we could type that in. Or in fact, this was Don Carr here. And so we can make corrections to this as well. But this is so powerful for podcasters, if you're doing any type of dialogue editing for audiobooks, it really allows you to get in and work with individual words within that whole passage and perfect them, take noise out, take a pop out, replace just a single word. Man, the possibilities are really endless with this feature. Another feature I want to show you is the new spectral recovery. So let's go over to this passage. We'll close up our text. What you're hearing right now is audio that was recorded on my iPhone. There's no microphone plugged in. I'm using the actual microphones in the phone itself. Now, as you heard there, that was recorded on my iPhone, but there's very little bottom end. And as you can see here in the spectral display, there's very little high end as well. Now, spectral recovery will go in and intelligently add in bottom end and top end. It'll basically resynthesize those frequencies and make it sound better. So let's go over here. We'll click on Spectral Recovery. The window opens up. We'll tell it to learn. And now let's compare. So we've got our original audio. What you're hearing right now is audio that was recorded on my iPhone. And here's what Spectral Recovery did to improve that. What you're hearing right now is audio that was recorded on my iPhone. There's now we can either choose to accept that or we can go in and edit it. For example, I think there's just a little bit too much bottom end there. It's actually starting to boom and thump just a little bit. So let's go ahead and drop that down and compare again. The cool thing is it'll give us another comparison of this second set of settings. So we can now work among all three. So here's our original. What you're hearing right now is audio that was recorded on my iPhone. Here's the first pass where Spectral Recovery learned the audio. What you're hearing right now is audio that was recorded on my iPhone. And here's where I adjusted the bottom end a little bit. What you're hearing right now is audio that was recorded on my iPhone. We can also view the individual settings for each of those. So this is a setting for number two. Here's our first settings where that gain was higher. And here's the original. So this is a very powerful tool for taking audio that's of less than high quality, say a, uh, a Zoom call or iPhone audio or phone audio like that, where their bandwidth is so limited or something that's been compressed because it's been streamed or something. And you can add that bottom end and top end back in and really bring that audio to life. Another new feature is dynamic adaptive mode has been added to the dehum module. So let's open this up and we'll also open up dehum and you can see we've got a new adaptive mode. Now basically this operates in real time. We no longer have to learn a passage of the audio in order to remove the hum. So let's see how well this works. Here's our original audio. You 
you can hear there's a lot of hum and noise at the beginning of that. So let's turn on adaptive mode. We'll compare. It's going through and using AI and neural processing to figure out the best settings. And now we'll compare our original. to DHUM's adaptive setting. It's a pretty dramatic difference as far as removing that noise out of the signal. Now, of course, we can still choose to go back and learn a portion of the audio. Let's go ahead and try that. You can see the setting here. If we add that to our comparison, here's the original. Here's adaptive mode. And here is when we learn the audio. To my ears, the adaptive mode works really well. It's a very cool feature that makes it super fast and easy to remove noise from your recordings. Next up, let's take a look at the new Repair Assistant in RX. Now, Repair Assistant has been in RX for a while, but with version 10, it's been completely redone from the bottom up. And in fact, it's both a module within RX as well as a plugin that will run inside your DAW, so you can use it either way. We'll look at it inside of RX here. Basically, what Repair Assistant does is look at your audio and intelligently create settings and a processing chain to give you the best sounding result at the end of the chain. So let's take a look at how this works. I've got a recording that I did here. This is audio being recorded on my iPhone next to a fridge that's buzzing quite loudly. Okay, so that's a pretty rough recording right there. But if we open Repair Assistant and we tell it to learn the audio. Now, once again, we can compare. But what it's done is it's set up a de-esser, de-clicker, de-reverb, de-noise, and de-clip if necessary, and comes up with recommended settings for those. So let's compare our original. This is audio being recorded on my iPhone. All right, and now let's listen to repair assistance. This is audio being recorded on my iPhone next to a fridge. That is a really dramatic difference. But of course, this is just a starting point. You can go in and tweak from here. One thing you can do is you can actually solo or mute different processors and take them out of the chain and hear what the effect that is on the audio. You can also go in and open the module chain and work with the individual modules to get the settings exactly where you want. So Repair Assistant can either give you a great starting point or maybe it'll give you the finished product, but if it gives you a great starting point, then you can tweak everything to your heart's content until it sounds exactly the way that you want it. It's a super powerful tool that's now so easy to use. For those who are doing more detailed editing and processing using the spectrogram, a new feature called Selection Feathering lets you have more gentle transitions between your edits and your processes. Let's take a closer look. So if we select a portion of our audio here, let's choose this part right here. And let's say that we want to bump the gain up by 25 dB. So if we render that, you'll see that basically we have hard edge around this. We're going along and all of a sudden at those frequencies, the level's gonna jump up. When we're past that point, it's gonna jump back down. So we're gonna get a dramatic transition right there at that frequency point. Now, if we undo this, turn on selection feathering, we'll increase our time, we'll increase our frequencies. And now let's do this again. And you can see that in this case, we've got a much more gentle transition into that gain boost and back to our level before. You can see that instead of having hard edges around this, we now have a much more gentle transition between the processed and unprocessed audio. For those who've never used RX before, there's also a new feature for you in RX10, and that's the first time user tour. It pops up the first time you open RX. You can also open it here in the help menu. But basically this is a tour that takes you through the basics of how to get started with RX. It's very handy if you've never used the software before. I hope you've enjoyed this tour of the major new features in RX10. This is a huge update to the RX software, and these features are so powerful. You definitely want to check this out. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. Sweetwater.